Welcome to our coding tutorial. Today we're tackling an interesting challenge that many developers encounter when working with Handlebars.js. Our viewer is trying to create a dynamic table that can adapt to user-defined headers and data. Let's dive into the specifics of their question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To create a dynamic table using Handlebars.js, we first need to understand how to structure our data. We will use an object that contains properties like title, director, genre, and rating. Next, we need to set up our HTML template. We will use the handlebar syntax to dynamically generate table headers and rows based on our data object. Now, let's focus on the JavaScript part. We will fetch our data using jQuery's getJSON method and compile our handlebars template with the fetch data. Finally, ensure that your data is structured correctly before passing it to the template. You may need to delete unnecessary properties or format the data as needed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Here's a method to build a dynamic table using handlebars. First, you define your data structure with titles and table objects. In the HTML, you create a table header by iterating over the titles. Each title becomes a table header cell. For the table body, you loop through the table objects, creating a row for each entry with the director, genre, and rating. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.